Hello again everyone. So now we have one more issue to fix real quick is our bow doesn't do any damage to anybody. Straight through the heart. I mean Bon Jovi would sing about this and still. Was that Bon Jovi? I don't know. It's late. I'm tired. I'm sorry. But still nothing. So what we need to do is we need to go into whatever your base arrow class is. For me, it's the wood arrow. And at the very end, right on damage causer, we want to get player character. And then that really is all it needs to be able to start doing damage. Although with that done, there is one more thing that you'll notice about our bow. Let's see if I can hit him from here. I should have hit that guy. I did, yeah, I did damage, but it didn't draw him to me. But we're doing damage now. So that's a step in the right direction, right? Alright, so one thing we need to do is we need to tell that enemy, hey, I just got shot in the chest. Maybe I should investigate that. So the little workaround we're going to do is I'm just going to create a blueprint interface called hurt one of my favorite Johnny Cash or Nine Inch Nails song either one is great I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna call this function hurt I am recording right Ugh, every time every time I think oh it's not happy it didn't it didn't take anyway inside our wood arrow once we've attacked and we know that the enemy or that the character we hit is the enemy. Let's drag off this other actor and call that hurt message. Right here. And we'll just plug it back in. This way it'll call it no matter what kind of elemental arrow we use. Now what we want to do in here is in the base enemy class we're going to add that hurt interface. So way over here where we're doing our on C pawn stuff, let's add it in here. So I'm going to event hurt. Oh, I gotta let's compile first, and then we can call our event hurt. Now we need to kind of take some of this and put here before we do all this. So um. What we're going to do is we are going to first off cast to the player because we know that this event is only being called from the arrow that the player fired. It'll be a little workaround. Let's get player character for the object. And then we will set the player reference to that right there. Now you may notice that we got the set player reference right here. We could just possibly plug it in but it's plugged in way over here to this cast and the reason we can't just cast into this is because this is taking the one that you're looking at since uh, we might not be seeing the player character we don't want to use this one we want to make sure we're getting the right thing and able to cast it and set it appropriately so after we do that we want to do a branch because I want to see is this enemy no well, it doesn't matter I want to see if he's timid If he's not, then we can go ahead and grab this. So if he's not timid, we'll set the start point. And then let's drag out one more player reference and we'll just set it to here. And follow that blue line way over here alright so now right after that let's set that to the max walk speed for the chase and then it should from then on just move straight into attacking the player so let's double check it just to make sure
Hey, he got hurt and he's taken off after me. And now he's dead. But it didn't take his health bar off the screen. Why is it two there? What in the world? Well, you solve one problem, you cause two more. Let's see what's going on here. So I'm up in the enemy damage. Let's see. Damage causers. Player character. True. Yeah, okay. No, it's not. I don't get this. I don't do that. It's setting that. Player reference is valid. It's registering that it's dead. It's just not removing it for some reason, even though that's way over here. It should be. It's playing the dead animation, so. So it's getting to here. It's just that it's not doing this part for some reason you solve one thing you break three others it's a cycle it's a vicious cycle so what we can do is hmm Oh, right here off the event hurt. Let's add a do once. And then we'll see. We'll see what's what. What's what. Alright, he is on my enemy screen. He is off my enemy screen. It was adding it every single time that we shot him. That's what that was. Oh, it shot both of Two for one. Let's fix that too. So right after we deal damage, we want to just go ahead and destroy the arrow. probably eventually put in a way to maybe retrieve a few of the arrows but for right now that'll help prevent any of that <laughs> John Wick with a bow shooting two people in the face alright and you're down Hmm. It keeps adding multiple. We only want it to do once. Hmm. <laughs> it should only be doing once. Why is it not doing? Oh, it's because once the enemy sees, then it adds another one. Alright, let's move this set player reference to right here. Move this this way just a little bit. And then we'll plug this false directly up here into the do once up here. 
and then they shouldn't be able to add me again once they see me so it should be just a one-off shoot them in the face and then that's all they need to know like hey that wasn't cool not see you and then be like oh wait no I'm after you again all right so he's close enough to see me he's not adding a second one that's the way that's the ticket all right now you yeah, good deal. Alright, shoot you. Kill you. Hooray! We can effectively kill people from a distance now. That's, you know, not something most people would probably cheer, but here we are. So, that's it for this one. And I will see you all. Alright. Um, if you like the videos, you like the channel, you like the series, and you want to, you know, do that YouTube stuff, the subscribe, like, you know, I'm not good at asking for that, but it would really help, uh, help the channel grow, and I'm gonna try to get into doing this full time, and I'm about to be going to college to learn a lot more about Unreal Engine to share with y'all, so if y'all could help me with this, I'll be glad to help y'all with that, but yeah, y'all know the gist, I don't like saying it, <laughs> but I'll see y'all in the next one, bye!